Ladies and gentlemen, it is about that time of the year where every single speedrunner known to mankind blows up a world record. I swear to God, someone puts speedrunning juice in the water every couple of months and everyone just blows up on it and goes absolutely crazy breaking each other's records. Now today we're talking about one of the most complicated and fun zombie maps of all times, Revelations. Today we are hopping on a call with Sable Farts who has just broken the record. He's gonna be breaking down everything he's doing, explaining the RNG of the run, just how difficult it is to get a world record on this map. All of his stuff is gonna be linked down below. Please go check him out on YouTube and Twitch. And without further ado, it's time to break my brain. All right, here we go. Hopping in, first of all, Sable Farts, how are you? Uh, definitely our first time recording this. I did mess up the <laughs> audio the first time. How first are you? Uh, you? You said you've been running this map for about seven months now. How many runs yeah. can you get in in a seven month time period? Um. Well, at first, a lot of them were like me not being that good. So like, like 30 minute PBs at the time. Oh yeah, but, absolutely and terrible. Then, <laughs> As as time went on, I would get, you know, better and then the world record attempts would start and it's really weird because you can be like plus one minute, but then get perfect RNG later on this map and then somehow get like a 10 second PB out of it. Yeah, this map is actually like one of the most RNG intensive maps, if for nothing else, just getting the box, the rocks location and what, what other things are absolute run killers that you have to have with just getting lucky on this map. So, your symbols and boss are, like, one thing that can really just destroy your run. Like, perfect to worst for the symbols is, like, a minute, I think, of time loss. And that's nothing to do with what you can manipulate, what you can, like, play better. That is just, you have to play perfectly and hope you get good symbols yeah, on the boss. Yeah, it's just strictly luck there. Which is crazy. We're going to uh, obviously get to that whenever we talk to the boss. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. And then also, there's, I mean, every step of this is RNG in some sort of way, except, like, when you're throwing the key at the end. Mm -hmm. So so you, I saw you shoot the numbers on the clock. Was there any reason <laughs> you are doing that Easter egg? Uh, I just like the sound it makes oh, when you yeah. shoot it. <laughs> I actually love that answer, it's so good. <laughs> so uh, obviously there's a lot of box luck involved. I, I've seen you kind of hitting the boxes as you're running around the map. Are there any, is it, there, there's no sort of like box luck that you can manipulate there's no way to get better rolls on the box there's no guaranteed way to get these how many box hits do you have to get everything you need which is if i remember the apothecan servant little arnie's and that's it right those are the two things yeah that's all okay if so you get like a haymaker or a thunder gun it can make the boss fight easier but you don't need those the easier not faster which is a huge yeah. distinction yeah yeah okay so how so, many box hits do you actually get where you have to get these two incredibly hard to get things out of the box um, I don't really know an exact number, but after I start my keeper, I have three minutes to turn on two other generators and then get the stuff from the box. So as long as I get it before my keeper is done, then it's, uh, it's going to be a good game. And if you don't, it's an obvious just immediate reset, right? Yeah, some cases. I mean, if your keeper's fast enough, you can maybe try to get a few in after, but... Oh my god, your time. body is just broken right there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So you mentioned you play on PC for the fast restarts. Uh, you you just are a keyboard and mouse player. It seems like yeah. most of the world record holders are actual like keyboard and mouse players. Is that just like kind of the community on speedrunning because you have to hit those fast restarts? Yeah, I mean, there's there are people that play on controller on PC. Right. But right, there's right. definitely way more I play on keyboard. I personally think the movement and aim is just better with the keyboard it's cleaner and, and doing the weapon swap like in increasing your momentum and sliding and everything like that seems seems to be easier on keyboard i'm not really I, i'm not sure yeah. about that since i don't do it a whole lot but everyone who runs this like that's obviously just a big part of doing these runs yeah okay so what are you what are you like setting up and looking for right now is right now just doing the generators getting your gobble gum rotations going get getting those emulation liquidations and everything like that yeah so as i'm doing like the generators and then eventually hit box i'm also trying to get to round five as fast as possible so i can get the bug round and then i'm also trying to get farther into my guns gum cycle so that i can get raindrops back for the max ammos right right and that's the raindrops just one of the most powerful things for speed running of all time uh i noticed that you were doing the keeper that entire time like the, the protection step but he was fine he wasn't being attacked by zombies is there a certain reason for that um yeah so once you start them if you're like in a different spawn zone the zombies will just despawn before they get to them and does that have anything to do with doing the generators at the same time or is that just something that hap happens no matter what 
No, it just happens. Like, if you start him at mob and you, like, and knocked here, you can just chill and they won't go after him. That's crazy. I literally had no idea that that was the case. <laughs> I, I always thought you had to sit there and protect him pretty much the entire time. So you've already done all generators. You've already done the, you're already working on the first reel. Keeper is still over there, I'm assuming. And what are, what is the next objective? What are you, what's going through your mind right now? Um... I'm kind of just chilling, talking to my friends in the VC, because you don't really have a real run until you have the box and then, like, the good bug round. Right, right. But, so yeah, right now I'm kind of just chilling. So you get the Ragnar is, is Ragnarok useful at all during this Easter egg? Uh, I don't think I touched them once now. Oh, yeah, classic, classic. So <laughs> right, right now you're just, you're, like, you're obviously hitting the box, but I'm going to assume this is because there's nothing else you can really do at the moment. Yeah, because I'm just time-locked by the Keeper. But, but, oh, oh, the keeper is still going on at this point. I always knew it was yeah. really long, but I had no idea it was like this long. Okay, so there you go. You got both of the two things that you absolutely need. Yeah. So now I'm also flipping around five, and this is where I'd hope I get bug round. It's still playable if you get like six bugs, but obviously I'd then have to flip a whole extra round. So, so is the bug round like bug round on five basically means you get more zombies at a later round, or is this just a good time to kill the bugs? What is the reason that bug round um, is so important right here? It's because when you're inside the squid, uh, when you flip the bug round for some reason, the game is coded just kill all the margwas instantly. Oh, so you're you're gonna use that to your advantage instead of actually having to kill all the margwas? Yeah. Okay, wow. I, I, dude, there's so many little... Oh, what other, like, random facts do you know about this map, just being someone who's played it so much? Not, not even necessarily that's, like, useful for the Easter egg, but, like, just fun facts about this map. Well, there is one thing that is cool about the ray gun, which would actually be time save, but then you have to play for a ray gun, where you can shoot the Origins Rock from where I'm standing now with the ray gun, so you don't have to ever go there to shoot the bone. Uh, well, I, I know there's a, a couple crazy, like, bone angles, but why is specifically yeah. the ray gun on that one? It's because there's a rock covering it that you can't, like, shoot through, but the splash damage will just break it. Right, 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 right. Yeah, the, 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 the rocks were always, like, one of the hardest things for, like, casual players to do just because they were so hard to see. So it's so funny that yeah. you can literally just snipe them all from, like, <laughs> well, well, we'll see it in a minute because I've seen, I've seen, like, a world record of this before obviously not nearly as fast as this one how much faster is this one from the previous world records this from the previous world record is like 40 something seconds i think faster which is crazy on a 20 minute yeah. run like i mean at the start of this year i think the world record was beat with like 25 minutes and 30 seconds and now it's sub 24 which is an, an insane like on a game that's this old that kind of time save is like unbelievable actually yeah. crazy so there you go oh my god you killed what seven or eight marcos there in one second yeah <laughs> so that's the that's the bug round you're obviously pack punching up you're getting the uh upgraded apothecary servant so uh, I, I don't even remember you're doing this so fast what step are you even on right now you just got another reel um, yeah right now i'm about to go place the reel at kino and then it's gonna be shooting the bones oh my god you're all, I, I just realized you're like almost halfway through this easter egg like <laughs> <laughs> it's so fast. It's so fast. Okay, so is there any RNG during this part of the run? Are you looking for um, for anything else? Yeah, it seems like you've got a couple big pieces of RNG, like pieces of the puzzle already done. Yeah, right now, really the only RNG is me getting a gumball, though, giving money, because I need 8,000 points to do all four of the turrets. Uh, I, did, I didn't even think about, like, and, and is there a reason you don't use something like shopping free to help give you more points or, like, uh, just not having to rely on money or anything like that? I mean, we do use shopping free. This this Easter egg, just, you need so many points. You need, like, 10,000 to pack punch two guns, and then you need 8K for the turrets, 5K for the keeper, and there's all the doors. Sorry, I, I, I'm literally just, like, leaning into my monitor seeing you hit these. <laughs> okay, so you get that. The one that you're shooting right now, that is the one, by the way, for anyone unaware. I don't even know. if Were you playing zombies at this point whenever this Easter egg was first discovered? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, so you remember that rock that he just shot from across the map took <laughs> the entire community over a week to find that one rock. We were we were stuck. That was, like, one of the longest Easter egg hunts of all time because of that one rock. One rock. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure if you noticed it there, but I picked up the little wisp on the car because uh, oh, wait, the, when you the place super it, strike wisp? yeah, and like when you place it, like you obviously get, like the papped guns, but 
it also affects the boss fight at the end to make the Shadow Man teleport less before you can trap him with the book and kill him. Well, okay, okay, hold on. Remind me of what the Wisp Easter Egg even does, because I know it's like once you've completed the Super Easter Egg, you have the Wisp, and you have it in your inventory right now. Like, yeah, so basically if I get hit at all, I'll lose it. Mm -hmm. And then if I put it in Samantha's room, every gun you get off the wall and from the box is pack-a-punched. That's right. That's what and it is. Recently discovered, I'm pretty sure, like we found out that it also makes the boss at the end like way shorter. Is that? Do you think that's something that was intended in Treyarch's like coding, or do you think that's just a completely like? Un it d basically, does it seem like it's a bug or like a glitch, or does it seem like intended? I think it was intended. I assume, but I don't really know for sure. There's a lot of just random stuff in the code that doesn't make sense so. that is crazy are there any other weird tricks like that on this map or do you basically what's your what's your favorite weird zombies like trivia that you have because i would have never in a million years figured out that using the wisp like um, makes your boss fight faster that's crazy i can't really think of any off the top of my head i know i know there's a couple on shadows of evil like a couple really cool tricks where like staying in staying in beast mode to like do a human grapple stuff like that Oh, yeah, the beast mode stuff's really cool. Do you run any other maps, or is this your is this your goat? Are, are you? A, oh yeah, I um. Are you a day one Revelations runner? Revelation. This is actually one of my my later maps because I played when I first got a speedrun. I did run Shadows of Evil, um, and then I got into Mob of the Dead. I got world record of that at one point, and then I played a lot of just random boards. I did the the Die Rise solo mod for a bit. Oh, but then I what does the came solo mod do? What does that let you do? It basically just makes it so the Easter eggs doable in solo since it's a four player one. What what what's what do you have to do differently in that? I am trying to think of what, what um, even steps are four player in so like instead of four players standing on like the elevators just one and then you only need to do one of the tiles. Uh, and then Okay. It basically just makes it so everything's done with one player. I and see. now I'm running Origins currently, but Rev has definitely been my favorite one to do because it's probably my favorite Easter egg to do. The steps make no sense, but it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> the steps for this one genuinely do not make sense. Like <laughs> almost it's every single step is just completely random. But I, I kind of love it for that. Nine little ironies for it. Yeah, yeah. Just it, randomly in the middle of the Easter egg, you're gonna need <laughs> nine little ironies. Okay, so you are you are going in. You've got the uh, the ball coming over here. It's going to go ahead and teleport you. So this is where you insert the spark? Yep, I'll put it right in like the drawer here on the left. Okay, and there you go. Pick up the book. Dude, this, this, this okay, so are, at this point during the run, are you like, okay, this is a run? You have like over a oh, minute yeah. of time save at this point. I think this is like currently the fastest like anyone's ever been at this part. That is There crazy. has been like another run where like they did the previous split like five seconds faster than I did, I think, but they didn't have enough money. Mm -hmm. So this, I realized like right here, like even if I get like what I consider like a bad split time for this, I'm still like WR pace, which is crazy. Yeah. And so are you like fully, I, I kind of have your, your actual video very low because I, I didn't want to like ha have to talk over <laughs> you twice. Um, you are like muted in Discord now. You're like locked in, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's I got so my funny. friends like just deafen me so they can still hear me like freak out. But yeah, <laughs> I, I'm like dialed in like because my I'm a minute ahead of my personal best and my personal best is two seconds behind the world record at the time. That's crazy. How, how how long ago in between that personal best and this world record did it take? It was like maybe a week, not even. I had like a long time where I just wasn't really getting a lot of runs. And then I got two games in one night, which both tied the two previous world records. It seems like world records um, are so streaky. So many people yeah. say they like had have had no good runs and then they'll have like three in one day and get world record. Yeah, like this, I, I didn't expect that at all. Like I just went live with like no mic on and I was just chilling and mm -hmm. then I got this casually. <laughs> That's so funny. So at this point, you obviously are doing the worms. This part is notoriously one that really annoys people because there are just so many spawn points for everything. Yeah. Uh, how how much is the like possible time save versus time loss on just getting the correct like fastest points to put put these like worms into? Um, like the worst possible, it can take you like six and a half to seven minutes i think from like when you enter sophia's room mm -hmm. and then the best i think is probably close to like five minutes i got low five 
Okay, so this like, is a, a lot huge of times, part of the yeah. Easter egg. There's a lot of RNG because the, you can like have some where you have to jump across different islands, like go all the way across each one. Because you can't pick up the egg until you place the worm. Yeah. So that's another thing with it. Yeah, it'd be much easier if there was a route to do everything in one go because then it'd be less like relying yeah. on RNG. So at this at this point, is there any spawn manip? I know on Shadows of Evil there's a bunch. Are there any spawn manipulations on that map? I noticed you're standing in the back of the room every single time you like do this step. Is that does that help at all? Um, I don't know for sure, but I think there might be like different spawn zones maybe in here. So I'll stay back towards where I want them to be. J just in but case for, like, there's an extra spawner. Yeah. Like for spawn manipulation, that that's only like a feature on Shadows and the Giant because mm -hmm. they changed the way they code the maps after that. Yeah. Also, I see I see Ross Aiden in the chat as well. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's so funny. I don't think I've seen a world record run from any of you guys where another world record holder is also not in the stream <laughs> at the same time. It's so funny. Yeah, we'll all watch each other, and then when we get a run, everyone will like swarm in. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, is this gonna be it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. All right, so I'm I'm assuming now like you are less than 10 minutes away from beating this map like word is getting out that you're on world record pace like yeah you, you know people are coming in to watch it <laughs> so yeah funny. like i think like i like looked at the end and like i had like way more viewers than i yeah. ever like have on average that's just because i'm on world record pace for us so everyone wants to watch it yeah yeah so so do you like are you pretty good about like not getting distracted whenever you're on a really good run because i notoriously get distracted by chat all the time given i'm not going for world record but i notoriously oh, yeah. get distracted all the time i mean when i am live i do think i play worse mm -hmm. because i'm also trying to like be entertaining kind of and yeah. just read my chat a lot but like right now i have my obs like minimized like i have nothing uh <laughs> i am just locked in at this point <laughs> you, you your gamer chair is leaned forward right now you're yeah. right <laughs> so how, how were like i mean obviously this is world record this is a huge smashing of the previous record how much time saved do you think you could possibly get on this map like do you think you have a better run in you or do you think this is like pretty close to maximized it is definitely very close but it's also far it's really weird of this map like i i made something one time just have curiosity see like what everyone's fastest segments together looks like mm -hmm. and it was like a minute faster than the world record is now that's and that's crazy. not even like it could still be faster than that but that's just from like all the footage i had but like, my start is, it's, like, near perfect. But it can obviously still be faster, but this is where the time save is. Even though this is still, like, it's very good because all my eggs were, like, next to each other and I didn't have to go far, but they all could have been better except, like, my Derizon Jack ones. So so they were good, not perfect, basically. Yeah. That's, that's insane that you can be playing this out of your mind and, like, still be nerfed a little bit by RNG. So you just got your last worm, Right? That was the last one? Yeah. Yeah. So now, okay. So at this point, you've, you're have you done with the worms, or I guess you have to find this last one. Oh, which is the best one you could possibly get right there. Yeah. The very first one. So at this point, like, what is going through your mind? What are you trying to keep in mind? Make sure you don't forget. Like, what are you locking in right now? Um, Right now, I, like, I just need to focus because I get really shaky when I'm nervous. Uh-huh. And right here is where you can't be shaking because you have to, you have to kill eight no. Marguas. So I'm just kind of trying to breathe. And like I even say it in the video, like I'm pretty sure if I got like the worst symbols here, maybe not the worst, but like, if I, I could get really bad symbols and it still is world record. Yeah. So I'm I am freaking out here, but I'm also trying to like just lock in to get this done. Wait, did you only just read three symbols? Yeah. So there is six that pop up, but it's always going to be the same four. That show up here and it's like the like if you hold tab you can see the four like on your hotbar that you picked up around the map oh. so it'll always be those so it's really just the order of the ones on your hotbar it, yeah. it is it, that's all that's all you're really picking up is the order it's the same symbols every time yeah that, like there's the same two they'll also be in here but it's the yeah. same four you interact with so we just have them numbered one two three four that's oh my god that's so cool i actually literally never even knew that about this map that's that's awesome so you're just waiting for the symbol that you've already picked up to come up now you yep. already know which one it is even if you just open up your hot bar yeah that's great that's so i love stuff like that in these maps man that's i i played this map so many times never knew that <laughs> okay so uh is there any time save with like 
Okay, good. One insta kill on the Margo. Nice. Um, is there any time save with what order you get these elements at all? Not that I know of. I know some spawn them in faster than others, but you have it doesn't, to it's not anyway. order. Yeah, it doesn't depend on the order at all. Because I because it is randomized what like colors you'll get at what time, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it it's really, like really just your have to order determines it of the symbols. There it is. And I learned last time on Shadows of Evil that the uh, Margo heads actually like open up in a certain order, and that's the order you're supposed to shoot them. I never I never knew that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, a little harder to see them on this map, but it's the same method applies to it. You just have to shoot them all in order when he's roaring, which I, I knew about the insta-kill, never knew that the the faces would open up at a different... I'm, like, extra studying. Oh, yeah, I see it. That's yeah. so cool. <laughs> yeah, I messed up that one, but the rest of these are good. As long as you insta-kill that one, it should be fine, right? Yeah. Also, another thing that I don't know how many people know of, every two shots you have the Apothecan on the Margua will get rid of one head. Really? Wait, yeah. do you have to, like, direct impact them? Uh, yeah. At least, like, in a certain radius, but I always just aim directly for them because they're just huge. That's crazy. Does it kill it even if the heads are closed? Yeah. That is cr Okay, I literally never knew that. Does that work with the Thunder Gun as well or only the Apothecan Servant? I think it's just the Apothecan. Their head needs to be open for the Thunder Gun. Mm-hmm. That, that's so cool oh my god i'm literally learning so much <laughs> all right so you go you get the you get the uh the ball here have they ironed out all of the ball bugs because i know at the very beginning of the game there would be like a possibility that the ball would glitch out it, does the ball still get glitched out as all at, at all or does it always make its way back into the map yes it's so glitchy but if you just melee as you go through the each teleporter you should always have it in your hand Wait, wait. What do you mean? Like, like if you, like if it's lost in the map, if you go through the teleporter and melee, it comes back to you. No. So you see that how I meleeed there? Yeah, yeah. It's good. That's gonna make me keep it when I go through. But if you don't melee and you just don't have it anymore, you will not be able to get it back unless you either pick up a death machine, I think, or down. I know for a fact that down works. And I just heard the death machine. Well, so, so how, and how does that mean? So it's like it'll be stuck outside the map somewhere until you do that. It's just like stuck on your body. That's crazy. There's no way to get it off. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. So you're you're like pre-lining up these shots and everything like that. You're 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 making sure you get the ideal like throws and then maximizing the time. Uh, have you ever messed messed up a run by missing throws? Yes. Oh, that's that's. that's... I, I've had. I've had games where I'll miss one and then I'll go into practice for like an hour trying to find like a lineup that I won't ever mess up again. <laughs> How do you practice? Do you just have to do the Easter egg up to this point? Um, we have mods that just will put you here that are very nice. Oh, that's awesome. Oh like, my this, god, that's learning a crazy this Easter egg. lineup, by the way. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Where does that one hit? Uh Shangri-La. <laughs> Goes all the way down. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, yeah, I can see how the practice mod would be great for that. Yeah. Learning everything, like even like getting better at the boss fights, it was so nice with all the practice tools and stuff. <laughs> also, I'm loving the NA wipe. In the <laughs> <chat. laughs> it's coming home. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, so now you are at boss fight, and then I'm assuming now is where we're gonna see like the less teleports because yeah. because of the thing you did earlier. Yeah. So now I just want to get as many souls for the key as quickly as possible. And the Margwas are really good because each, like the Margwa counts as one soul and then each of the bugs is also one. So killing that as quickly as possible helps you fill up the key faster. Yeah, so yeah, you're, you're pre-throwing this, this, oh my god, okay, you already, you already did it. Okay, so you're doing this without Death Machine. Is there a possibility that you usually would do this with Death Machine or is that, oh my god, wow, that was so fast. So is, yeah. do, you, do you go for Death Machine at all during this or is it just as fast to do your regular gun? I, I don't, like, it is faster with the death machine and nuke for the souls, but I, I think I lose too much time hitting gum yeah. for my range drops, so this, I just... This run is go, 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 once you get to a yeah. certain point. And there it is, that is, I think, time comes up at the end, yeah, right here? Yeah, right there, cutscene. Hold on, can we just turn this up for a second? <laughs> 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 I love how much y'all hop in and like support each other. That's so good. Well, dude, insane run. Congratulations. Uh, literally, like, 
absolutely nuts that that was that was crazy so i gotta ask are you doing any other maps now are you are you turning your attention to anything else uh right now i've been running a lot of bo3 origins i'm having a lot of fun on that map um that's really it. So there's like some maps i'll just do on this side but that is my main focus as of now i don't know if i'm gonna play it for world record or not but we'll see that's that's amazing well congrats on the world record Huge Thank W. You. Anything else uh, you want to shout out, say to the people right now before we sign off? I mean, like, if you got a Twitch Prime, you like, yeah, I, you know where to find me. Drop the primers. <laughs> drop the primers. Link in the description. Absolutely massive, man. Congrats once again. Uh, thank you, everyone, so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Adios. Goodbye.